What's up, good people, aka winners? That's all we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Ficky, Ficky. Hey, what's up y'all? Siki here in the building. I'm actually gonna do a foundation first impression and review, but I did start by putting corrector on this side. I always do corrector when I'm doing my makeup. Sometimes I will give you guys a first impression without the corrector, but I'm actually doing a TikTok and filming and doing all that good stuff. So, you're gonna get corrector today. All right, and the corrector of choice today is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I have a video on that. My other corrector that I love is Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade 51, and there's a video on that, okay? You guys can follow me on all my social media platforms. There's actually a link tree that's always in the comments that you can just kinda click on, girl, and you can follow me. Oh gosh, I gotta add TikTok to it. But my TikTok is I am C Key, and you know, all the other ones, you. You shall see in the link tree. I'll add that one too. First off, don't forget to join the fan fam, okay? Not to be pointing at you, but I'm serious about my stuff. No, I'm just kidding. But don't forget to join the fan fam by subscribing. And also, look what has happened here. I know. Look at the waves though, baby. Hey, you getting CC girl? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But look, this happened by accident. If y'all want to know about that little story, I'll do a whole video. I do have a video that um already launched by now it should have um gone up already about my um my hair routine and how i do this so that's why you see it like this because we're not done yet i do that after i do my makeup and oh i'm gonna tell you about the foundation in one second let's just get this corrector in since we have the other side set this is what ofra cosmetics sent me if you guys want to hold on <laughs> if you guys want to try their foundation and i might be looking oompa loompa ish but it'll all come together if you guys want to get anything off of ofra cosmetics website it is ofracosmetics.com you can use the code CKEY to save um, a percentage off. I think it's 20, but don't quote me. But they did send me the collection, but they send me the mini sizes, okay? This is the foundation. Um, I don't know if these are all of the shades. Let's see, five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20. Now, I have a little bit of a background about them. I took out the three that I'm gonna use, okay? That is how it is packaged. These are the minis. I don't know if these are like samples or if you, or, you know, for a PR kit or um, if you can actually buy them like that. I really really don't know, nor do I know how much they are, but I bet you one thing, it will be in the description box, okay? So the three that I took out are these right here. And I am thinking, so this is how I match myself, okay? This is the concealer that I use, which is pretty much, you know, very, very similar to my skin tone. That's what I use on the top of my brow. And if I wanna spot conceal, I'll use this. This is my actual shade that I use, but the bottle is a little bit frosted, but this is Morphe. And so a lot of times you guys say, well, how do I pick my foundation? Here's the thing. If you already have a foundation that you love so much, you love the, the shade, you love the undertone, it's giving you everything that it needs to give, okay? Take that with you, but try not to take a full bottle, especially if you're going to a place that sells the same foundation, all right? But just take the bottle that you have and like, if you cannot swatch, like just match it up to the bottle that you have. And if you are able to swatch, just swatch them both and see how they do like see if it oxidizes too like let it sit on your skin for about a good 10 to 15 minutes I like to walk around the store if I swatch it down through here I like to walk around the store for a minute in case it oxidizes now the closest one to this one I would say is the top right here I feel like this one is a little bit light but I took it out just in case and that was seven and a half this one is eight and the one on the bottom is nine so I'm gonna go for eight and um pray that we do not have to mix. But here's the thing. I believe this is a revamp of Ofra's absolutely covered foundation. And it says, put your skincare first. Oh, and hey, y'all, looky. Hey, girl, hey. Look at here. Let's see which one actually they say number eight is. Let me look here. <gasps> That's about right what I'm saying. Look, she's number eight right here. And she looks very, very similar to my skin tone. I mean, with the exception of the corrector. But she looks very, very close, right? Right here. I mean, hey, girl, and guys, because there's some dudes on there too. I want to give you guys a little background. So, back in the day. Seriously, Ofra used to have a foundation before. That's why I said I think it's a revamp. Because back in the day, I used to have to mix a couple of shades sometimes three depending on what time of the year it was but my youngest who is now 21 there was 
a time where she could not use any other foundations because her skin was so sensitive. The only one that would work for her was this one. But by the time she really wanted to make do makeup and prom time came and all that, it was like, it was already expired and they weren't really making it anymore. They, well, I think they were making it, but they said they needed to revamp it or something like that. Cause you know, I have a relationship with them. And so we weren't using it. And then I saw some posts that they came out with the foundation and then lo and behold, I got a package where I have the whole collection. It's very, very liquefied. Whoa, girl. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. All right. I'm praying. I am praying that when they revamp this baby, that they revamped it to where I don't have to mix. I, I just, I, just really am and even if it goes a little red I'ma still rock with it but one thing I've always loved about Ofra's um, base products you guys I don't really use their skincare but not because I don't believe in it but simply because I have my own little regimen that I use and I don't kind of want to disturb it but one thing that um, makes me so confident about their products and putting them on your skin when Oprah was created the owner is actually a um, esthetician and estheticians know about skin right they take care of skin they know about the layers of skin they know about different treatments so they do have skincare too but I don't use it but you guys can try it out if you want when they came out with a foundation girl that smells good oh hold on that smells fresh like I'm about to wash my face mm, and not too medicinal come through okay but anyway so that's why I've always liked their foundation when I did use it I didn't like the fact that I had to mix it but baby look like they've been in the lab making some moves look at here I don't think I'm gonna mix this I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my like concealing and highlighting and I think all will be well oh my oh Fred, did you do that smells so good did you know did you kick it did you kick it out the park did you did you can I kick it that's I should have used their sponge too because I'm sure they sent me some sponges but I will say this I'm gonna read a little bit about it too because I'm feeling like this is definitely not full coverage it says absolute though but mm, I don't know let me try this let me let's read it oh my god that smells like you know what it smells like it doesn't smell like a face wash it actually smells like a lotion that's what it smells like so it says yep see enhanced formula new shades added natural finish medium buildable coverage I knew it was not um full coverage it says put your skincare first oh girl that's small with our peptide foundation that was formulated to be one part skincare and one part makeup absolute cover foundation foundation now available in nine more shades has an improved formula for long lasting results that won't fade midday. The peptides in our formula, always vegan and cruelty free, create a barrier against free radicals and help in the production of collagen to keep skin plump and firm. Okay. Check out our original shade in our PR box of mini samples. So this is the PR box of mini samples. It says it is available Okay, so it was available November 2nd. I don't know how long I had this box, but we getting in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Okay, so it is buildable. So we're about to build, okay? But I am gonna use my Too Faced concealer because I don't know that they have a concealer. It is a little more red, but I think that we'll be able to work that out once I do my powder and everything. I honestly do not know of a foundation that got me all the way right down to a T undertone this and that. Like, you see what I'm saying? Even Fenty. Fenty oxidizes on me and make me look Oompa Loompa-ish and I have to add stuff to it and even this Morphe I feel like it kind of gives me a little bit of a, a red tone when I put it on too but I would much rather a red tone than have ashiness because it's like too light it looks real fresh it looks real hydrating but because it is medium to buildable even sometimes full coverage when I have these deep blemishes like this I have to cause shiny 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 yeah but I do have to do like a little bit of concealer which is what you're gonna see me do and that's because I did have like a little breakout and I scar very very easy so so I'm gonna take this Too Faced Born This Way chestnut and I'm gonna put a little bit right here and I'm gonna let it sit there and do what it do. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Sculpting Concealer in Butterscotch and then do my highlighting areas. The powder that we're gonna use while that sits there is going to be the Fenty Beauty and it's going to be 390 and it's going, and no, not it's going to, I'm going to need another one because I hit pan. I'm just gonna take this palette and kinda let this dry a little bit. And then I'm just gonna show you the part where I blend all my 
concealer and the powder and then I'll show I'll come back with the final look so then I take my powder this is the 390 and then I just get all in there girl with my um, Morphe E1 brush that I love a lot of you guys ask me for it if I remember I'm gonna put the link and I just like pat it in there come on Ofra. okay 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 come through but I am you see it is not exactly my color I am gonna have to like blend that out a little bit and I'll probably use a paper towel too because I always do that when something's not my exact match but baby we gonna make it work we're gonna make it last i am gonna do my contour my highlight lipstick all that good stuff and then i'll be back okay but back to where we were y'all i am not mad at this foundation like i said it's not my exact match maybe i'll like mix another color with it next time but i didn't want to mix anything this time around but not too shabby here we are i'm showing you guys close the highlight though that's over too but anyway like it's not bad at all guys there we are there we are it's doable it's a doable it's a doable i will come back later this evening probably on my cell phone and i'll let you guys know or i'll show you a close up because i don't know if i'm gonna get back on this big camera i'll probably just put the lights on and then show you close up how it stood the test of time product reviews are like the heart of this channel i absolutely love doing uh first impressions and like product reviews because that is how i started as a makeup artist like that's how i learned about certain products and what to go get and it cost me a lot of money but it also saved me a lot of money you know watching reviews so i want to do whatever i can to help you guys so make sure that you share because hashtag sharing is caring and make sure that you subscribe and join the fam bam you guys have an awesome blessed day and i may not see you sooner than you think but i guarantee you i'll see you soon bye what is up fam bam listen linda i don't know if my watch is gonna show you the time like do like this it is 10 27 did y'all see that when i put on my makeup earlier it was like 2 p.m i have not blotted not one bit and no, I'm just kidding. I love the your grill so you can see the real a a. No, but it looks good. I mean, of course, I do need to blot around here and around there, but it really looks good. And I'm gonna tell y'all, this is something that I discovered when I was doing my um when I was doing my foundation after when I was off camera. So when I went to do my contour, I was like, yo, yo, like it was a little bit hard to blend because when I tell you that foundation set in place, she wasn't moving. So oh for the did the doggone thing and to be honest with you the color is not even bad if you see like if i turn it like it, it kind of blended in a little bit now i did wipe it and kind of blend it and just kind of make it mesh with my neck because remember it was a little lighter right here you see where it's kind of breaking up and you can kind of see my pores now but that happens with foundation and especially for this not to be marketed as like a matte or anything like that it's definitely staying put and it definitely looks it looks like beat it looks flawless it looks healthy Hashtag winning, hashtag score. To keep you neat, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CQ Beauty makeover.